Okay, once again, we are uh, here in my garage working on taking apart a Nissan Leaf battery pack. This is the third section of the battery pack, the largest section. Uh, it's 24 modules, and they're up on edge instead of laying flat like the other ones were. Uh, those ones um, were low because that's where your, your feet and where the driver's seat goes in the car. These ones uh, were under the back seat, so they're, they're on edge. They can be a little taller, but they also pack uh, twice as much power into the same space by doing that. Uh, right now, you are looking at the back side of the battery pack because uh, that's what was facing out, and there's not much room right here for a camera anyways. So I just wanted to show you uh, on this side, We've got a big bracket, and that was basically for uh, physical mounting uh, down uh, into the battery pack, the case itself. Uh, so I'll take that off. That is uh, about a dozen 10-millimeter uh, nuts. And then this little wire harness here, this is uh, some temperature sensors. And that comes off pretty easy. It's just some little clips, and if you push a screwdriver in there and you pull, you can unhook those, and they come right out. So that'll come off pretty easy as well. Uh, so I'll take that off, then I'll take off all these nuts and I'll remove this bracket. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do here is, oh, I'll stick out. That's interesting. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll spin the battery pack around. We'll start working on the other side. Okay, so I just spun the battery pack around. Uh, you do see the, uh, the battery monitor cables right here. And on this side as well, there's also a bracket going across. So I'm going to take out uh, all those nuts and get that bracket off, and then after that, start uh, unsnapping the orange uh, bus bar covers. Wow, one thing I did notice is that uh, these orange plastic covers uh, come off a lot easier on this big block. Uh, it's just kind of a uh, a simpler, more standard, uh, more energy sense shape uh, using a, a hooked pick to reach around and uh, catch the top of those orange covers worked really well and just pop them right off. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, you know, this is still high voltage stuff and even with the orange covers in place, on the, these battery wires here do go straight to the cells. So, you know, don't poke anything in there either. Um, but it looks like that's about it. I'm just gonna, uh, take out all those terminal bolts and all those terminal screws and that entire piece should just uh, pull right off there. Okay, so I looked and I got all the nuts and bolts out of there. Uh, the bus bars and the uh, orange plastic cover should lift right off. It's probably still snapped in there and probably just needs a little bit of jiggling in a couple of places. That whole thing right there comes right off. Now we're just looking at uh, one end of this battery pack and what I want to point out is how all these uh, cell modules are held together. Basically they have uh, four threaded rods running through them and those end here, 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 and here. Now one other thing that I want to do on this uh, before taking it apart is I'm going to use 18 cells or cell modules to upgrade my Vectrix. So if I count out to here is 18, and I'm going to measure it. And from right there to right here is exactly 24 inches. It just happens to lay out nice that way. Uh, because when I take the bolts out of the end, this is going to expand, and I need to know how tight I have to snug them all back down again when I have them in the Vectrix, kind of hold them all together nice and snug. Now I did just notice that on this end, there's a little bit more threaded rod sticking out. So I put on a 10 millimeter deep socket 
and I figure I can just loosen up a couple of these. As long as one of them's tight, it's not just gonna fall apart on me. Okay, they are pushing out from each other. They're kind of creaking and all, and I just have the one holding them in, but I can see even right now, because that's on the front, the back is kind of pushing out from each other. And actually, I should be able to pull a couple of those threaded rods out now. So essentially, the entire battery pack is held together by four rods, just like that. So there's the second rear rod. And sure enough, uh, in the back, I can get the, those spacers out now. I'll probably want to take a couple of still photos before I do that, just so I remember how these all are. So here we go. I'm going to take out that last uh, threaded rod. And now, um, only thing holding the cell modules together is that right there, but not the end one. So that plate can come off. And then I can uh, start taking modules off. Well, that's about it for taking apart the Nissan Leaf battery pack. Um, I, I got that pallet and that table out of here too, so now I finally have some room in my garage uh, to work on the rest of my projects. Uh, so after this, it's really getting back to the Vectrex and installing the Nissan Leaf cell modules in there. I do still have a couple other parts from the Nissan Leaf pack. Um, these two main power cables uh, look pretty nice, very heavy duty. It's uh, about a two and a half foot and a three and a half foot power cable. That's going to be about the right size uh, for the battery pack in the Vectrex, so I'll hang on to that. Uh, also, I do have the battery monitoring unit from inside the Nissan Leaf pack, so um, that doesn't do any good for me. If somebody wants to buy it, uh, 100 bucks, uh, just uh, swing by 300mpg.org and uh, leave a message for me. I also have, uh, it's kind of the main contactor uh, unit out of the battery as well. It has a nice big resistor on the other side there. Um, if you want to make me an offer for that, hey, that'd be great. Uh, and then otherwise, just a lot of nuts and bolts. I do have this great service plug, which uh, frankly, it's kind of cool. Um, I might just save this for some other project uh, as just a big gosh darn safety disconnect. Um, any other questions? Uh, leave a comment or uh, swing by my blog, 300mpg.org. And otherwise, uh, see you on the next video. Take care.